Hey, hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And today I would like to share with you guys a huge amount of knives that I am going, knives and other stuff like scales that I'm going to be putting up on nafsale.com. I just want to make a little video to show you guys what I'm going to be uh, taking out of my collection, stuff that I just don't use anymore and can't honestly justify keeping um, because there's something better on the way or I just don't use it anymore. Um, first off, I wanna say I do all my sales on nafsale.com. I love those guys, the individuals that run the website. Um, they are knife enthusiasts through and through. They're community people. Um, they post stuff on Instagram and they shout out people and they're just, they're, they're just, they're so friendly. I like it. I appreciate that. Um, I want to say for me personally, as a seller, I pack my knives the way that I would like to receive them. So, uh, when I get budget knives or any other knife and it has a proprietary pouch, I try to ship it out in its pouch. But things like this, things like this and this do not hold value in my opinion. So if I'm sending a knife that has, kid you not, everything, and this has happened to me before. There was one person that offered me like half of what I was asking for because it wasn't in the original packaging. The original packaging was a plastic sleeve and the chintziest cardboard box. It was like cardstock, cardboard box. And I was just like, you know what? I just, I can't deal with people like that. But like I said, I would want to receive a knife a certain way in a decent pouch with an appropriate size box and appropriate packing material that could be uh, crunched up thick newspaper, shredded newspaper, uh, peanuts, and of course, plenty of tape. So to give you guys something to cut also. <laughs> so with that being said and out of the way, let's start with one of the first things out of my collection. This one's an old one, but I've decided to part with it. This one's gonna be kind of all over the place and the colors may just, they may not, may not be for you, but, <clears throat> excuse me. This one is my original 8020.5. This is in the OS 10A. Yes, it is a user. Yes, it has been uh, sharpened multiple times, but there is still plenty of life to that edge there, as you can see. Um, original thumb studs. That is a titanium, titanium backspacer, original clip, and the gravity scales are, are they were just dyed, essentially. Um, I have the corresponding uh, backspacer. Um, this is, and there it goes. <laughs> Those are some extra steel uh, studs. If for whatever reason you damage or lose them or they rust for some odd reason. You have really sweaty fingers, I guess. Um, this is another set of scales and another set of scales with the backspacer that I can't reach at the moment. So I'm going to be selling this all as a bundle. I'm not going to be making separate listings. If you, if you absolutely love this and you hate this, then just throw it away. I'm not going to add any crazy markup because I, I spent the extra money on those scales. They weren't expensive to begin with, but I just, I, I don't have the room for this anymore, so I'm just going to be getting rid of it. Um, don't have pricing right now, but it's going to be something, like I said, just to just to get it out of here, pretty much. So um, that's going to come in the nice uh, pouch here with the little Velcro thing. And over here, there's just stickers, a deal tape trader sticker, that one. <clears throat> in here there are three lefty pocket clips <laughs> if you're a lefty and you want this knife and uh well i think this might be the item for you and then the little cleaning cloth um so i'm not taking anything out of this um you know item this is it's all gonna be together i'm just gonna sell it like just like that you will receive everything <laughs> just like you saw it in there so there's that guy 
Um, next one. What's up? I think I like this one. Okay. Uh, yes. So, <clears throat> this is not actually from Drop. This is my Cubis Blade Works Variant PE2. Um, I have all three scale options available. They will come in this pouch for, of course, storage and extra protection. This is the knife. I do need to clean it up a little bit. I will give this a nice sharpening before I send it off. But pocket clip is in wonderful condition. The micarta can definitely be cleaned up quite easily. Um, none of the screws have been stripped and it's extremely easy to maintain this knife. So I have the blue denim micarta, natural JG10 scales, and these are the titanium scales that were originally on it. So these weren't bought separately. This is what the knife came with originally and I bought the other two scales separately. So it does have the clip wear mark right there because that's where the clip makes contact with the scale. So these aren't technically brand spanking new and neither is any of this stuff. Um, you cannot buy this model anymore. And the other two scales I'm not going to be pulling out. So um, please don't send me an offer like, oh, I really, can I just have the knife with titanium scales? Well, I don't want the other ones. No, I'm, I'm going to sell it as a bundle, everything together. It's going to be a reasonable price. I'm not going to try to, you know, screw anybody over. I'm selling this just to move it. That's really it. And then the stickers. So that guy done. <clears throat> What's in here? Um, okay. Yeah, this guy. So the SOG Altair. I uh, still haven't sharpened it because I just haven't really used it. Um, none of these knives I'm really going to put like brand new in box because they're not in their original box. Um, I don't think you would want to receive this thing in its original box anyway. It's absolutely atrocious. Um, it comes with the backspacer. Good luck trying to put that on. And what's in here? Oh, this is one that is actually already up on NAF sale. I'm asking 100 bucks from this thing. Honestly, I'm considering just pulling it off because nobody's really been interested in it. The action is absolutely freaking sweet. Um, that hole is awesome and it cuts really, really well. Um, you can still buy these brand new. This was from the QIGMGS brand. They've since rebranded their name to uh, Remet. Um, and they're a cool budget brand and they make actually pretty decent uh, stuff with titanium. And that blade's actually an M390. I don't know what their hardness is on uh, or like what their actual treatment is. Um, it's probably run soft as you would expect, really. Um, so there's that guy. Here. Okay, we'll save that one for a little later. That was boring. <clears throat> wee pouch. What's in the wee pouch? Okay, so this guy is also from QIGM GS. This is their premium uh, button lock flipper. Uh, Neves Knives actually recently showed this guy. Um, I, uh, I'm getting rid of it because I just, I'm not gonna use it the detent is way too light in my opinion but it still feels really premium for the size of knife it is ridiculously light and actually very comfortable in hand pretty nice bead blasted blade i believe this is an m390 also probably run soft um what else is in here <clears throat> oh this guy so this is a kershaw highball this thing is going to be cheap. I don't remember what I paid for it, but um, it's going to be dirt cheap, essentially, if you want just a knife to just throw around, really. I put multiple edges on this. It has not been dropped, but these are steel scales, and they just they don't hold up, honestly. So I'm getting rid of that because I just don't care for it. Um, and what else? There was something else in here. Oh! 
extra springs and I did include some aftermarket steel thumb studs that would fit um, bug out. So they were basically aftermarket benchmade bug out uh, thumb studs that you could put on here. They fit perfectly and actually they're, they work better and look better than the factory thumb studs that are on there. And this is just a random titanium lanyard bead that I found. I don't know what it came from. Uh, it it might have belonged to a knife that I've already sold. I kind of feel a little bad about that. But um, so that's that guy. It's going to come in this pouch. So not a wee knife, but it's in a wee pouch. It's all right. Um, this. No, I, I am holding this for somebody. Actually, don't know when he's interested in buying it, but I told him I would hold it for him. This was my hybrid F5.5 from Urban EDC Supply. This was the exclusive blue denim micarta, not the black one. This is the blue denim micarta. Um, and it came with the heavily stonewashed acid blade. And then I bought the Stormtrooper edition, the one, one of the most recent releases. Um, and basically I just did a scale swap I dyed the, the white G10 scales, so that's my keeper. This one, it's pretty sick. I would love to hold on to it because I think it looks really freaking cool. Um, the blade, absolutely unused, uncarried. Everything is uh, essentially brand new, but I'm not gonna be listing this as brand new in box um, until I get confirmation from the individual that I was offering this to. If he still wants it, uh, I'll probably hold on to it for like a month or so. You know who you are. If if you want it, it's here. I'll hold on to it for a while. If it's not something that you really care for anymore, um, let me know so I can sell it. <laughs> um, next, right here, uh, again, we pouch. Only one knife in here. This is my Devo Knives Growler. This is a wonderful, wonderful budget knife, uh, but it's just, it's not something that I'm actually going to carry, but it's been so good using this thing. It is absolutely amazingly comfortable in hand. The cutting experience with the super tall blade is, it's just absolutely wicked. It's so freaking sick. Um, it's really good at just blazing through really any material that I've put it to. The low profile bent steel clip, while it does look really cheap, it's extremely functional and I don't mind it at all. Um, this wasn't carried a whole lot, mainly because I spend a lot of my life at work and well, I just, I can't seem to get to that tip as much as I would like to. So I was just like, you know what? Eventually, when Devo Knives makes your premium one, I'll get it just to have it. That'll be my, you know, just to have knife, even if I don't use it. Cause I have, there's a lot of knives in my collection that um, I own and there's a lot of money tied up into them. And I just don't really use them as much as I probably should, but yeah, it is what it is. So this guy selling this, I don't believe you can get this anymore. This was a first run, possibly the only run. Uh, there, I, I wouldn't say controversy. Uh, that's not the appropriate word, uh, but there was a lot of complaints about this knife, uh, the detent, um, I have tuned mine. It is a lot stronger, it's a lot snappier, and I do have um, some KPL Heavy in here. So the action is a little bit slicker. It's not super drop shutty like it was. It's, uh, it's extremely satisfying, honestly. So a couple little upgrades to this thing made this uh, honestly a pretty sweet knife to have an experience something else <coughs> excuse me something else by diva knives this was the first thing i ever got from them of course it is the stout so here we have stickers d10 diva sticker the holographic stout sticker we have unused because i just don't drink beer um the keychain bottle opener this thing is kind of weighty but it has cool factor to it of course all the 
uh, extra hardware, <coughs> excuse me, that these come with. The original titanium backspacer, the original black micarta scales that were on there. Uh, these, if anybody actually does buy these, I will make sure to clean these beforehand. Very easy to do. Um, and here is the knife. So I got the marbled uh, carbon fiber and the premium backspacer. I can't remember what it was and I kick myself all the time for not remembering. It was Mokutai or Zerkutai. I think it was Mokutai or Timascus. I don't freaking know what it was, but the scales and that were an extra like 68, 65 bucks. Um, I'm really just going to be asking what this knife was brand new and just throwing in the add-on. On some retailers, you can still buy these. Um, I'm not sure if you can get this anymore, but you don't get the little bottle opener. You don't get the cool little stickers. Some people put value to that. So I'm just I'm saying that this wasn't carried all that often um, and it still has a factory edge on it. Um, I've stropped it a bunch and now stropping just doesn't really do it justice anymore. So when somebody is going to purchase this, I will sharpen it and it'll come super razor sharp. I don't want to get rid of this thing because the action is so sick, but I saw that they're making a uh, version two and I really want to get my hands on that just to support. Um, that's really it. And honestly, probably like a year from then I'll, I'll end up selling that. So I, it is what it is. Uh, things need to move on, but just these lights here just don't do this material justice. And it is, this is the grain side. So if you take it out, it's extremely vibrant. There's so much orange and blue. It just, it looks insane. So this is a very nice uh, pouch that it comes in. So everything you see here, it will come all together. Is that guy? Vostid. This is my Vostid raccoon. And yes, it did pass the spine whack test. <laughs> so this is all the original packaging. Um, I only saved all the original packaging because it was actually kind of nice. Came in this little, little tin cardboard sleeve cloth unused there is a patch there are some cards and stickers and stuff down there um but that's not really important here's a little zipper pouch some candy right here for you and here is the knife ah uh, uh, i forget i forget how good this thing feels it's a it's a good knife but you know what they have their version two of this with a crossbar style lock. And I think I might be getting that. <laughs> this is still a wonderful, wonderful offering and just a really great budget knife. There's so much value in this thing, but um, I just don't have the need for it. And I feel that somebody else might benefit from, you know, me passing this on. So there's that guy. Is a snug fit into the tin, but it definitely goes together in a nice, neat little package. Oh, upside down. Um, and two more here. These are the fancy ones. Alrighty. I haven't even done a review on this. Uh, I've been planning to, and I've been lagging it. But uh, I decided that, yeah, it's it's not for me. So this is the Luft Concept Avant. I did not buy this from a retailer. I got this directly from the initial pre-order and, you know, waited. got the little um, pre-order uh, gift set. Or that, that, there was like little goodie bags. So they sent this. This is unused. It looks really wrinkly only because it's well, just jammed in here with all the stuff. So you get this for your energy drinks, Rockstar, of course. Um, 
because Monster is a Coke brand, and on this channel, we do not like the Coca-Cola company anymore. Um, this is the Loves Concepts Avant Little Lanyard, unused. And then just some stickers. Stickers. The cloth, of course. Some candy, if I didn't mention it already. Oh, this one's a cool sticker. So there's a little holographic sticker. And... And might I add, this pouch is heavy freaking duty, and it has a uh, fuzzy side Velcro strip right there, so you could add your little, whatever they're called, raise your eyes or whatever. Uh, comes with a black and gray one, and this is the knife. Ah, it's a really good looking knife, and the action is ridiculous. But honestly, I just haven't really been using it. I've been playing with this thing more than actually using it. And uh, this is an expensive toy at this point for me. While it is a fully capable knife and the factory edge is pretty sweet. After some strops, it was even better. So this has not seen an actual sharpening yet. But um, really, I only took it to work like two times. Um, spaced out by like a week because the first time I was just like Ooh, this really isn't for me a tip is way too high for what I do for work I need something a little bit more utilitarian shaped sheep foot one cliff camel toe all the good stuff um, and this just doesn't really cut it for me but performance of cutting really anything else um, it's sick it's absolutely awesome um, you can get this guy actually on blade HQ right now and yeah it's about $350 but I'm pretty sure you don't get like this stuff or some of the stickers. If you value that, it's there for you. But I'm going to be essentially asking to cover what I paid for, not including what NAF sale earns and then the shipping. So there's a little bit of loss there and that'll be the loss that I take on this. Um, but even still uh, a decent little discount would be passed on to you this is not a brand new inbox knife i am not labeling it as that um because it has been used um it has been taken apart twice just to mess around with seeing which uh kpl lubricant would work best i tried the lightweight i tried the heavy and uh i think the heavy is better uh, the detent is a little stiffer and it just makes it Oh, so snappy. That thumb deployment is probably my favorite. It, it, this whole area feels just super premium and right there, just it grabs you. It's not sharp, it's not uncomfortable. Like I could do this all day. And really that's what I've been doing with it. I've just been playing with this more than actually using it. And I can't justify having this in the collection anymore because there's, there's better out there, really. Um, <clears throat> So let's get all this stuff back in there. Let's cover the knife to make sure no marks get on it from the um, keychain, lanyard, whatever you want to call it. And we'll just fold that. So I still need to do a review for that. So this will not be up on the half sale until after my review because how am I going to review a knife that's on its way out and or probably already sold? So I can't do that. Um, this little guy I is just another little junky knife that I'm going to be selling. There are a handful of issues with this that I will disclose in the listing, but uh, the price will, I'm sure, make it worth whoever's interested in it. Um, last but not least, as knives go... This is another one that I haven't done any review on or extensive testing. This is the TRM Full Tie Holy Nerd. And holy crap, is it expensive for what it is. In my opinion, this is an absolute gent flex knife, fully made in the US, which is super freaking cool. Um, and this blade, this thing is not playing around at all. There's so much performance to this 20 CV blade. Uh, very thin stock, super tall uh, blade shape for, for its dimensions, of course. 
um, and it cuts really, really well. Like it is, this blade is not just for show, but um, for the price and what they're asking for, I personally can't uh, justify it. That's me. Um, there are a couple little things here and there that I wasn't too happy to see, um, and that'll be in the review. But this is an item that I'm gonna be selling. Um, this guy was $315 brand new. I'm probably gonna ask around like $290. I think that's more than fair. This thing has really only seen some cardboard in the garage, and that's it. I have yet to take it apart. I have yet to sharpen it, and I have not even taken it. This thing has not left the house, actually, um, but still... It is not a brand new knife and will not be listed as a brand new knife. So I'm not asking brand new knife price. You cannot get this right now from TRM's, TRM's website because, well, their stuff is so freaking sick that it's just so hard to buy. Everything comes in minuscule drops and the company's doing the best that they can with the workforce that, you know, is available in their local area. So... Um, that is it as knives go. And then in this pouch that I did set off to the side, these are scales. These are, I believe all these are for Spyderco. These are some Ladies Q exclusive natural JG 10 scales for a native five. The, the full, like the full thickness, the, the G10 one, not the lightweight. So, or not the linered ones. Remember that. This is for the G10 non-linered ones. So those, they'll get a nice little cleaning, a little scrubby dub, and it'll just come with a little sticker. Uh, this is my Knife Joker exclusive little native scales. So these are the uh, regular peel ply G10, um, like forest green or dark green. They, of course, will see a a uh, little uh, bubble bath essentially before they get shipped out and all these guys are going to be like 10 bucks so um this was from my lynch northwest uh delica mod v2 that i got um still sealed this was the original scales steel liners and backspacer of the knife that they modded um sealed as you can see um and then this is the black dlc clip with uh corresponding three screws so if this is something that you're interested in or you want to buy this just to do a little dye dip dye experiment or just have some fun pink high vis pink scales um that's there and these guys are, they're probably just going to be put up for like 10 bucks again. For what, uh, <laughs> for what NAF sale takes and then the shipping costs. I'm basically just giving this for free because everything, at least for me, has cost about 9 to $10 to ship. So I, am I going to be negative on that item? I don't, I don't even freaking know. I got to figure that out. Um, so yeah. Um, these are going to be sold almost at a hundred percent loss to shipping fees, unfortunately, but I just, I don't have room for this stuff anymore. So I got to get rid of it. And with all that being said and done, this is it. Just all this stuff. If I could back out my camera, I would, but yeah, I got all these knives, all these goodies. Everything will be not that. <clears throat> Everything will be posted within, most of this stuff is going to be up um, the day that this, that you guys see this video. And stuff is going to be available, most of the stuff. Except for the AVNT and the TRM because I still need to make reviews and I have a lot of stuff going on this week. I'm actually not going to be home the next two days. So videos and content are going to be a little scarce. But it is what it is. If you guys like what you see here, go ahead and check out NAF Sales website. This is where you guys are going to see all these goodies at, you know, decent prices. I'm not trying to <laughs> wallet rape anybody, that's for sure. Um, I just got to get rid of this stuff, really. So 
again i really appreciate you guys support anything that you guys buy it's just going to go back into uh the hobby as it is um i'm constantly getting new stuff whether it's cheap or expensive um and i just i have fun doing all this so i'm not expecting to make any major money and get anywhere near what i spent on this stuff back but um I feel like other people could make a better use of these knives than I have. So it is what it is. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.